Neo Pastor Trinity House Itwai Godalo says the events of NSAS cannot be wished away in a hurry since it's an indication that government must address the yearnings of young people in the country. He said that these are the 10th annual lecture of Bishop Kola on Olakwa Memorial Lecture Series, which he held in Lagos. The Julius Major Hall, University of Lagos venue of the lecture was filled with guests. With 2023 general election around the corner, the theme was apt and that is transforming the Nigerian politics, perspective and insights. The chairman of the occasion is Pastor Itwa Igudalo. He says Nigerians must take active part in the forthcoming election. We must all have our PVCs, we must all vote. My own is that vote for the person that you think is most competent. There are 15 of them. Look for the one. It doesn't matter if you think your vote won't count. If it doesn't count today, it will count tomorrow. Assess them hmm? and assess who they really are. And then look for who you think will do the best for the generality of Nigeria. We are dealing with problems of ethnicity, religious perversion, extremism, corruption. That's how the guest speaker, Bishop of Diocese of Elisha, will rather start his lecture. According to him, Nigeria is in a state of anarchy and something well, urgent well. must be done. There is a need to call another national conference to restructure Nigeria. Within this process, the salaries of legislators should be slashed drastically. The tenure of legislators should not be open-ended. Let them also have a simple term of five years and get out. People who have served as governors should be prevented from transiting to the Senate or the House of Representatives until they have spent more less than four years after, they are, after leaving their initial office. They need to give younger generation an opportunity to serve and the significance of the NSAS movement was also addressed. The reasons why countries move forward is that their youth push the needle forward. Nobody gives you power. Power is only given to those who show up. I salute those youth. I salute their courage, I salute their organization. But spiritually, they also offered themselves, like Jesus Christ, to be slain on the grounds of Nigeria. And God has decided that there must be a change in Nigeria. And there will be a change. Nigeria belongs to all of us. They called on the church to unite and lead as they have the numbers that could cause a positive change in the country. Ivy, Kano, TVC News, Lagos.